Uh, in this video, we will look at the hydrogenation of an alkene molecule catalyzed by Wilkinson's catalyst. The UPAC name of this Wilkinson's catalyst is chloride tris triphenyl phosphine with the letter A here, rhodium 1. The common name is tris triphenyl phosphine with a letter I, rhodium 1 chloride or chloro tris triphenyl phosphine rhodium 1. So this uh, phosphine, AAE, is the UPAC name. And then we will look at the catalytic cycle. And we will uh, focus on the uh, oxidation number of rhodium and the uh, oxidative addition, reductive elimination steps. First, let's look at the structure of Wilkinson's catalyst. This rhodium is bonded to three um, triphenyl phosphine ligands and one chloride ligand. So how do we decide the oxidation number? We assign the bonding sigma bonding electrons to the ligands. So these two electrons are assigned to phosphorus. And then you have a neutral triphenyl uh, phosphine structure uh, with one lone pair on first phosphorus. Uh, same here and here. And then we assign these two bonding electrons to chlorine. And then you have chlorine minus. Therefore, the oxidation number of rhodium is plus one. And then hydrogen two attacks this rhodium from this direction and push down one of this triphenyl phosphorus ligand. And then you can see this is called addition. And let's look at the oxidation number of rhodium here. Now assign the two electrons here to this hydrogen. You have a hydrogen minus, a hydrogen minus, a chlorine minus. Therefore, the oxidation number of rhodium is three here. The oxidation number increases from one to three Therefore, it's not only in addition, but also in oxidative addition step. From here to here, it's really a solvent molecule replacing this triphenyl phosphine. So the solvent is not uh, joined here. And then this uh, alkene molecule react with rhodium. Uh, if we look at the oxidation number here, it's one, two, three. If we look at the oxidation number here, it's one, two, three. So there's no redox. It's not a redox. Only because, again, if you look at this bond, this bond is actually uh, not a sigma type bond. This is really uh, this alkene molecule uses an empty pi star orbital to accept some d electrons from rhodium. And in this situation, uh, we say this uh, ligand, this alkene ligand is neutral and uh, the rhodium is uh, plus three charged because you have H minus, H minus, and chlorine minus. And again, these two phosphine ligands are neutral. Um, from here to here, from D to E, okay, you have a hydrogen. So look at this hydrogen. Uh, attacking this end of alkene. All right, so this hydrogen will be bonded to this CH2, and now this CH will form a sigma bond with rhodium. So this is what happens here. And then we look at the oxidation number. Uh, minus one, minus one, minus one. Again, we just assign these two electrons to this ligand, and this uh, carbon has a negative one charge, therefore rhodium has an oxidation number of three. From E to F, uh, this uh, uh, phosphine ligand comes back, and from F to A, this is important. This is called reductive elimination. First, you removed this uh, uh, RCH2, CH3 uh, from rhodium, so the rhodium 
loses two ligands. This hydrogen is uh, bonded to this carbon now, and then you have RCH two CH three, and uh, and this RCH two CH three leaves this rhodium. So it's losing two ligands. And also, if we look at the oxidation number here, it's uh, negative one, negative one, negative one. Therefore, the oxidation number of rhodium is plus three, and then over here, the oxidation number is one. So it's called the reductive elimination.